So today we are going to apply Huckel's molecular orbital theory for uh, ethylene. We already learned Huckel molecular orbital theory. Now, ethylene molecule apply it. So the skeletal framework of ethylene is C1, C2. So the expression for the Huckel molecular orbital is psi is equal to A1 pi 1 plus A2 P2, where P1 and P2 are the P such atomic orbitals of C1 and C2. See, A1 and A2 are the coefficients. And we have to find out the values of these coefficients. And uh, we will get a different sets of values for these coefficients. For so, these sets of coefficients, we will have two expressions for psi. One will be for the bonding Huckel molecular orbital, and another one for the anti bonding Huckel molecular orbital. Okay, because we have already learned in the Huckel molecular orbital theory that each Huckel molecular orbital will have its own wave function, right? Uh, so we will we will uh, derive those wave functions here. So the Huckel determinant equation, as you know, it is x1 1 x. You know how to write this. We will fill uh, x in, in the diagonal, and uh, then if this is 1 1 position, right? Row row 1. Um, this is 1 2 position. Row 1 column 2. Okay. Then since 1 and 2 are bonding atoms, this there comes 1 in this place. And this is uh, uh, row 2 column 1. So it is 2 1. Since 2 and 1 are connected atoms, then there comes uh, 1 in this position. So we know how to constitute the uh, construct the Huckel determinant. So x1 determinant x1 1 x is equal to 0. Okay. And uh, you already know what is the value for what is uh, uh, m mean by x. x is equal to alpha minus e divided by beta. Therefore, from this determinant, x square minus 1 is equal to 0. x square minus 1. That is equal to 0. Therefore, x square is equal to 1. Therefore, the value of x is equal to plus or minus 1. Okay. Now, we have already learned that if x is less than 0, if, it's, if x is negative, then that corresponds to the bonding level. And if x is greater than 0, means if x has a positive value, then it corresponds to the anti-bonding uh, Huckel molecular orbital. Okay, then the, the uh, bonding level E1 is equal to uh, alpha minus uh, x beta this one we will get from this expression okay uh, we already have the expression for uh, x x is equal to alpha minus e divided by beta from this one we have the expression for e e is equal to alpha minus x beta okay so we can substitute the values of x uh, x has two values plus one and uh, minus one we can substitute these values in this expression okay first of all we will first substitute the value for x is negative that is e is the x is equal to minus 1 then we will get the expression for the bonding level therefore e1 is equal to alpha minus x beta where x is equal to minus 1 therefore alpha minus minus 1 into beta that is equal to alpha plus beta that is the bonding level similarly we can substitute for x is equal to plus 1 then we will get the expression for anti-bonding level E2, therefore anti-bonding level E2 is equal to alpha minus beta, okay. Now, we can go for the calculation of pi bond energy. In the ground state, the two pi electrons in ethylene are in the lower energy level E1, because there are two energy levels E1 and E2, so what do you expect in the ground state? It has two electrons and these two electrons will occupy the lowest uh, Huckel molecular level. Uh, therefore, the total energy of the electrons, the total energy of the two electrons, that is equal to 2 into the energy level of the E1. E1 energy level is alpha plus beta. Therefore, it is equal to 2 into alpha plus beta. And now we have to think that, suppose 
there is no bonding in the absence of the bonding the electrons will occupy the atomic orbitals right only in the presence of the bonding electrons will go to occupy the huckel molecular orbital in the absence of the bonding electrons will occupy the atomic orbitals or p is the orbitals and the energy of these electrons of two electrons is equal to 2 into alpha because alpha is the energy level corresponding to the p is the atomic orbital okay therefore the energy in the absence of the bonding energy of the two electrons in the absence of bonding is 2 alpha so what is the energy saved by bonding that is equal to 2 into alpha plus beta minus 2 alpha what is the difference between these two we will calculate the difference between the energy of the two electrons while they are in the bonding situation and when they are in the absence of the bonding and this value is equal to 2 beta or we can call this as the pi bond energy in ethylene that is the energy saved while making the pi bond or when the atomic orbitals are involved in the pi bonding okay that energy saved is equal to 2 beta so here you can see the the energy levels e1 is equal to alpha plus beta that is the lower energy level and the alpha corresponds to the atomic orbital level and alpha minus beta corresponds to the anti bonding molecular orbital level okay and uh, the two electrons are occupying the bonding molecular huckel molecular orbital now we can go for the coefficients of the atomic orbitals uh, in the linear combination function and the hmi expression we have already seen that the linear combination function for the hmi expression is psi is equal to a1 p1 plus a2 p2 where p1 and p2 are the p is the atomic orbitals we have coefficients for the atomic orbitals a1 and a2 we are going to determine the value of these coefficients okay that is what we are going to do next so the secular equations obtained in the variation treatment are a1 into alpha minus e plus a2 into beta that is equal to 0 you know how to get this type of equation you have already learned the huckel molecular orbital theory and the second one is a1 into beta plus a2 into alpha minus e is equal to 0 or simply you can write a1x plus a2 is equal to 0 and a1 plus a2x is equal to 0 corresponding to this only we have we have written the huckel um, determinant okay <coughs> okay so these are the uh, secular equations from these uh, secular equations uh, we are going for uh, for bonding level e1 we know that for bonding level e1 we know that x is equal to minus 1 and from this equation number 1 okay we can substitute the value of uh, uh, minus 1 here okay this is equation 1 a1x plus a2 is equal to 0 so i am going to substitute the value of x here so it is minus a1 because a1 into minus 1 plus a2 is equal to 0 or from this one we can write a1 is equal to a2 okay so from here we understood that a1 and a2 these are the relative values of a1 and a2 now in order to get the absolute values we are going to uh, apply the normalization condition for the huckel molecular orbital expression from the normalization condition we can prove that a1 square plus a2 square is equal to 1 okay so we have you have already learned this in the variation theorem that's why i'm not going to the details of that so from the normalization condition a1 square plus a2 square is equal to 1 it means that a1 square plus a1 square because a1 is equal to a2 or is equal to 1 or 2a1 square is equal to 1 and a1 square is equal to 1 by 2 therefore a1 is equal to root of 1 by 2 okay and therefore a1 is equal to a2 is equal to root 1 by 2 we have obtained the value of a1 and a2 now what we can do so we can substitute the value of uh, a1 and a2 in the huckel uh, molecular orbital expression for uh, psi 1 psi1 is equal to 1 by root 2 into p1 plus p2 and this is for the bonding uh, molecular orbital because we obtained this condition 
of a1 is equal to a2 which is equal to 1 by root 2 for x is equal to minus 1 which corresponds to the bonding level. Therefore, the expression for the bonding nuclear molecular orbital is equal to that is psi 1 is equal to 1 divided by root 2 into p1 plus p2. Okay, we just substituted the value of a1 and a2 in our psi expression. That's all. And now for anti-bonding level e2, for the anti-bonding level e2, x is equal to plus 1. Therefore, we can substitute the value of x is equal to plus 1 in the equation number 1. Then we will get a a1 plus a2 is equal to 0. Okay, it means that a1 is equal to minus a2. These are the relative values of a1 and a2. And in order to get the absolute value, we go for the normalization condition again. From the normalization condition, a1 square plus a2 square is equal to 1. And uh, we substitute for a2 here, that is a1 square plus minus a1, because a2 is equal to minus a1 square is equal to 1, that is 2a1 square is equal to 1, or a1 is equal to 1 divided by root 2, okay. Therefore, a2 is equal to minus 1 divided by root 2, because a1 is equal to minus a2, therefore a2 is equal to mi minus 1 divided by root 2. So now we can substitute the value of a1 and a2 in the psi expression, then we will get psi 2. Psi 2 is the molecular orbital corresponding to the anti-bonding level. Okay, that is equal to a1 p1 plus a2 p2. Here a1 is equal to 1 by root 2 and a2 is equal to minus 1 by root 2. Therefore, psi 2 is equal to 1 by root 2 p1 minus 1 by root 2 p2. Okay, therefore, we have the expression for psi 2 that is equal to 1 divided by root 2 into p1 minus p2. Now, we have two expressions that is uh, psi 1 is equal to 1 by root 2 into p1 plus p2 and uh, psi 2, psi 2 is equal to 1 by root 2 into p1 minus p2, okay. So, these are the expression for the Huckel molecular orbitals corresponding to the bonding and the antibonding levels. Now, we can look into the graphical representation of this uh, psi 1 and the psi 2. Okay, you may be remembering the uh, expression for psi 1, that is 1 by root 2 into p1 plus p2. So, if we are plot this psi 1, uh, then we get a plot like this. Here is the axis which includes a c1 and a c2. Okay, and these are the points corresponding to c1 and c2. Then we can plot this psi value here. Okay, so the value of psi is like this, it will have a maximum at a c1. And then it will have a maximum to C2 also, okay. And these are, uh, you can uh, look at the expression that actually what is happening there, uh, Psi1 and Psi2, are, uh, P1 and P2 are added up here, right. For Psi1, P1 and P2 are added up. So, in the midpoint, in the midpoint, okay, means in the midpoint of the two atoms, there Psi1 and Psi2 are added up. Actually, this density, electron density uh, should come down like this. So, wave function should come down like this uh, in both sides of C1 and C2, but it is being added up here. P1 and P2 are added up here. That's why it has a definitely good value here. Okay. So, actually what you can understand from here is that uh, the electron density actually is being added up in between the two atoms or this corresponds to a bonding situation, the electron density built up between the two atoms. So, it's a bonding situation. But if you are checking into the, uh, the, the, the one for psi 2, okay, this is a uh, psi 2, one for psi 2, then you can see that in the case of psi 2, it is p1 minus p2. So, if you are checking the value of a psi in the mid of c1 and c2, it will be completely vanished because you are here you will get a node here you will get a node okay so because it is p1 is being subtracted from p2 so electron density is substantially decreased in between the two atoms so this corresponds to the anti-bonding level so if the electron density is uh, uh, is substantially reduced in between the two uh, atoms bonding atoms then it corresponds to the anti-bonding level or it doesn't favor the bonding so, that is the expression for psi 2. This is what we can understand from this graphical representation. So, if you are looking into the three dimensional representation, you can see that this is the bonding psi 1. So, it has two lobes, uh, positive and negative. Actually, this plus and minus represents the sign of the wave function. Okay. So, it is uh, being concentrated in between the two atoms. 
and this corresponds to the antibonding. Antibonding has a nodal plane here, and this line actually represents the uh, nodal plane. Okay, so the the electron density is concentrated at C1 and C2, and in between C1 and C2, the electron density is nil. So that corresponds to the antibonding level. Okay, so we have successfully ap applied Huckel molecular orbital theory for a simple molecule ethylene. Okay, I hope you understood this, and if you have any doubt, don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned.